always in my beach pad. It's <laughs> yeah. summer and you're you know, all we're relaxing in our courtyard out yeah. back. This is what we do every day. <laughs> it's a little noisy because for some reason the neighbour has turned on her television for the first right. time in three months. I think she saw the cameras and <laughs> decided she would. She just had to watch Days of Our Lives. We have the ocean on the other side of you guys. And a we pond to our right. A little jacuzzi underneath. And a little jacuzzi, <laughs> which keeps um, making farty noises, so it's not us. Right. It's the jacuzzi. Sure. That's what they all say. So anyway, this is us. We're going to have a little, uh, uh, the boys are a all asleep. Review. Yeah. We're going to have a little, a little girl talk. Well, if Renee can figure out how to... <laughs> oh, my God. Turn it up. Or so. <coughs> You've got to take me with you. Teach me everything you know. You can't. And I did. Why? Did you see the guy they want me to marry? <laughs> you did. It looks yeah. like a gentle son. Little did we know. It's rare in a man. It's not yeah, a gentle That was a love by the first season. What was it? What was over by the first season? Me teaching you everything I know. <laughs> right. I don't know. I think it carried on for five seasons. <laughs> Little bits and pieces. That's right. She sucked my brains out. Slowly. I did. I picked and your head. Pick my units. <laughs> do you remember filming this? I do actually. I do too. I remember meeting you that first week, and Renee would look at me like, "Oh, you're a goddess." <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't do that. Yeah. You're my idol. Yeah, that was so funny. Uh, you know, I had an interview once, and um, once, and um, the guy said, um, "You know, you really just look at Lucy with um, such esteem, and you just really looked at her like she's, you know, this icon." It's like, yeah, yeah, I do. You know, it's really kind of funny. It was really bizarre. Yeah, actually, that's over. Bi yeah. No. <laughs> by, the, by the fifth season, she's punching me in the stomach. Yeah, I got yeah. Telling you know, me to shut I, up and directing me. Yeah, there you go. Go figure. I came back to reality. Yeah. Now, yeah, you've got me do on the pedestal, again, right? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. I love to study maps and place names. <laughs> so, what route do you usually take? <laughs> Don't even think about it. We're so bored. Or wherever you we're are. bored or boring. You were so you were so bored and and acidophilus. What was your place? Right, um, amphipolis. Um, amphipolis. <laughs> bored and betrothed. Yeah, we used to read maps <laughs> and the telephone. Book. All I did was read books. I had no social life except for the man that I. Those guys you kept killing, marrying and killing. That came later. Yeah. Mm. <gasps> mm. See. Mm. We both with like chipmunks in those days, didn't we? Chick went young, naive, little did we know what was to come. Bat face. Rolly poly little bat face girls. Mm. Mm. How can I join her? Yes. Mm. <laughs> What's next? Oops, what have I done? Lucy's big foot's in the way. <laughs> It's my feet. <laughs> Nothing can get around my feet, no signal. <laughs> I need next tail. The guy on the donkey walking <laughs> yeah. around my feet. You should just hook up yourself with your tail. Who needs yeah. Verizon? Oh, my underpants! You know what I remember filming well, I, that? I don't remember that at all. I do you? No. I do. I said, I remember uh, we filmed all your fight and then they turned around there uh, getting my reaction in the hit. Yeah. I remember saying to you, Lucy, um, just look at me. You're like, oh, no, no, I didn't look at you on, on my reverse, you know? I was like, no, no, it doesn't matter. Just look at me because just seeing your eyes, I'm, I knew would c create a reaction that was completely mm. appropriate to, you know, being that hurt mm. sort of thing, you know? You don't remember that? I remember that. I, I, I didn't remember that Gabrielle got hurt. Was she hurt because... It was just you in the she, rage of 
the fight and it was, she happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, it was a complete accident. You know, I think that's because Zena hadn't really learned to care about somebody yet. Oh, I think... And I, that she developed, <laughs> you know, through her love for Gabrielle. Do you? I think that's she, true. She was, you know, I mean, she never had to look after somebody before because right. it was just her against the baddies. And little old and Gabrielle, you know? Little but young she, Gabrielle. But she was at the, in the wrong place at the wrong time. The kicks were just a bit off for Zena that day. Yeah, that's right, because she was, had half a brain worrying about the chipmunk. Exactly. Right. The chipmunk scenario. Oh. <laughs> Elvin. <laughs> Elvin? <laughs> Elvin the chipmunk. Oh, yeah. No. You coming back <clears throat> to me really meant a lot of I trust you. I never thought for a moment you meant to hurt me. Well, I owe you. Thanks. I owe you too. <laughs> and for the rest of your life. Uh, uh, what was that? Paybacks were hitting me. <laughs> feel better? I think good. I broke my hand. But I do feel better. Good. Actually, I remember. That was good. I remember when I was try I, um, trying to learn how to hit a hit for one yeah. of the fights or something yeah. and I was um, showing you how to do it and I hit your hand and it felt like hitting a wall I just remember that so that was very real well well thanks for yeah me. that's good I just want you to know look we got screaming from this direction scream she's, she's in there watching back-to-back -back Zenas that's what she, she should join us it's a marathon there's people shrieking <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 hang on. This is me trying to nut out how <laughs> Zena should react to this and as, you, as you're trying to feel out your character, you right. know. Mm. Mm. This is oh, oh, never had a young it, girl thrust herself into me and look for and comfort. Through my, <laughs> through my bosoms. Your little face. <laughs> the tears streaming. You know, it's that was quite nice. obvious. That was good. Yeah, that that was a good thing. Gabrielle Zena. looked up to Zena as a. I love you, as a, you know, it's true. I love you, mom. And Gabrielle loves Zena. <laughs> like a. I was like a mom, but no. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my nerves. What do you think of this one? It's lovely. <laughs> What What's is it? For? Oh. It's a walking stick. It's very it's really easy. <laughs> you can walk with it. You can That's lean on it if you need a rest. You can kill nasty little critters if you want to lie down. Oh. Yeah. Kill, kill, Gabrielle. That's the introduction of the staff. Faster, pussycat. I cannot remember that at all. Oh, you're right. I have no. I had no. Look at the collection of how the staff came into being. So that's it. I started walking funny with a hop and then Zina put on 40 pounds and, <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> so, so, all that fine living with Gabrielle. <laughs> Gabrielle's cooking. She, she's Gabrielle. got the fresh one. 15. Gabrielle and her mutton recipe. <laughs> Oh no, then <laughs> that's right. We'll rub it down with lard. That's no, not true. Stop. You're funny. Okay. Anyway, that was a good hit. Not bad. Very good. Oh, you could do that. Yeah. What was that? I heard an ADR line there. What was that? Not bad. You know. Unless I was speaking into my costume, speaking into my it was, cleavage, like that. Um, it was too clear. Uh, yeah, yeah, somehow. For walking away. Uh, I guess as we were just learning to do looping, you know. Right. Um, it's funny because... Why did you bring your son? <laughs> He's at PE yesterday. Do you want to see the next one? Yeah. Okay, okay, come on. Every time it goes blue, and we're yeah. just going to have a little talk, and yeah. then we see another piece of Zena and Gabrielle. I bet it's so cool. Okay. And you've got to get caught up in your education.
know what's funny about this? This is the first time that I had to dance as Gabrielle, and I couldn't decide if I should really try to dance well or just, <laughs> you know, have two left feet. Yeah. yeah, you know, and I just thought, ah, you gotta have fun with it. So I tried to do the goofiest things I could find, and uh, you're and then they dancer. never asked me to dance again. <laughs> what for? You know, three or four years after that, it was funny. And it's then funny. they had you dancing every other weekend. <laughs> right, at the end. Oh, look, you can't dance bad if you try. That's Blame good. Thanks, Jess. I can't dance well if I try. Blame the plant. Come on. That's not true. I've seen <laughs> you dance. I've seen you dance, you know, with friends. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> not on the show. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Don't give me choreography. Here's a better scene. You want to talk about it? Oh, I remember man. this. So great. Zero. The smell. <laughs> it was just another village to conquer. Nothing out of the ordinary. Fire broke out. And I don't know if it was one of my men or just an accident, but it was a strong wind and. Those flames just swept through that town like a wave of death. The people were huddled in their houses because they were afraid of my army. That was one time when my army was... Re you know what's horrifying about this as you watch it all those years ago doing that scene and then knowing how the series ends and you go, wow, how many villages did she <laughs> burn to the ground? How many... Right. You know, souls is she responsible for? And uh, of course, those things were written with no idea of what prescience of what absolutely would be written, not from you know the producers or the writers' point of view, but just kind of evolved. But um, it's kind of shocking to see to these things go. Mm, no, one, no wonder, because all the fans who it watched though. it oh. had put all those pieces together and were filling in the blanks the whole time, and we were just kind of. <sighs> Trying Running to, keep, to up. keep up and produce stories, but um, yeah, no wonder, no wonder people took things so personally. I, I often wondered after this scene what you had experienced and made you connect with that so strongly because it's not, this a, was. not this, a dialogue no. that you can just say, you know, without no, without was, understanding that experience. It no, it was a um, Holocaust thing uh, because. I don't know where I got the idea about the smell, but the smell is such an evocative sense too, but, and there must have been this terrible smell mm. about human beings burning, you know, and nobody ever talks about that, but um, perhaps I'd heard a Holocaust survivor mention it or, I don't know, I don't know where I got that from, but uh, it was specifically a, a Holocaust reference in my mind when I that was the image I was using yes yeah. jeez and the thing about doing a scene where you've got and if you're drawing on something like the Holocaust you really got to keep a lid on it don't you so tight because otherwise you're going to go oh, <laughs> yeah. blub all over the place and not finish the scene and not serve the characters and um but you know what's interesting about this show um, is that because the reality is not close to home you know it's not something you experience every day so you had to find heightened Right. aspects of, of your life or yeah, you know, history, history to, draw on, to yeah. draw on just to find a way to connect with these, with these yeah, people and to are going try to through. make it real that, that you're talking about cutting people's heads off and, right. you know, <laughs> and then thousands of people are dying you know yeah of course since September 11 that's become all too real that everybody can understand yeah. that but but before that how do you you know because our generation hasn't lived through a, a huge war like that right to um yeah, just try to find those things to make it real. Somebody has to say no to this lust for revenge. That is so hard to do. You did it. When your village was destroyed, you were infected with bloodlust, but you overcame it. I was lucky. I saw what I'd become and I was able to turn it around. But if something happened to Mother or Hercules, you... Like me. I might do just the same. That's a first. I forgot that Hercules was such a player. Right. Early on, because 
he was one of your <laughs> best <laughs> friends. <laughs> you know, you can never give him another thought. But right. um, that's but right. He was more he was than like Gabrielle. Love and forgiveness. No <laughs> <laughs> changing, Gabrielle. I like you just the way you are. <laughs> get some sleep. No. No, you promised me. I was naive, though. I mean, I fit right That's into that. That's a scream. Oh, but you see, if we had done that, in the, like in the last season, we would have just it would have been cut, cut. Yeah, you would have laughed. I would have laughed. We wouldn't have held it together. We would have no. just gone. Laugh. Yeah. But, but it, it kind of, that was really unexpected to see that in the final cut. Yeah. But we came from two different places within the characters. You know, I was naive about the whole world view, mm -hmm. and you had it obviously a different idea. <laughs> Reality. That was funny, though. The other thing about this, which was interesting, was it was the first time that, wasn't it TJ that was directing this? I believe so. Because That's he, Calista. he, it was TJ then. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think so, anyway. Uh, I think he did Return of Callista. I think he did this. When she goes down the, um, You know why I remember? Because, um, hole. the fire, they put the fire right in front of the camera, and it was, um, on a, both on a dolly. So they're moving back and forth, which is very unusual. We've never done that before, and I thought... Mike mm. Levine, though? Might have been. Oh, anyway. Anyway, okay. it was just really interesting that the production value, to me, just went up a notch again. That uh, suddenly it had this, this feature film quality that they were putting together these shots that so were so elaborate. you were noticing like that? I thought yeah. it was interesting. What's happening? I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! That's that was nice. It's fine. Doctor? Mm hmm. She's dead. Andrew Bins? She is not dead. I wouldn't let her. Come on, Gabriel, wake up. Come on, wake up. Come on, wake up. You're scaring me. Wake up. Come on, breathe. Come on, come on, breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Maybe she just needs air. I need to get some air in her lungs. Stop it. She's dead now. She's in a much better place. Get out of my way! You don't know anything! Don't you listen to him. Come on, I know you're in there proving. You can show him. Come on. Wake up and breathe. You never ran from anything in your whole life. Zena! It's time to stop. Who would have thought? Was yeah. this the third season? It's the first season, the end of the first. Second? S the end of the first. End of the first? Yeah. It was really the first time that you showed how much you loved Gabrielle. In that way, don't you think? Um, I, I don't know if it was the first time, but yeah, this, but is, this was a major. so raw. And yeah. um, I remember this was like the third take. Mm -hmm. TJ always said Lucy's a third, the third take girl. Really? Yeah. And, um, so, and, and as the takes go on, you get more kind of desperate in a way because you don't know if you, you can don't do know it what, again. Yeah, you don't know if you can do it again. You don't know exactly what they want, why they're going again, how can you, so yeah. you can only sort of surrender to that. Um, it would be just like TJ to push you just a little bit further. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it again. <laughs> um, and, and it's terrified me, this, that really exhilarating to when you read the script and you go, whoa, it's going to be a big to, to, to pull off properly. But I remember you wondering if Zena should cry. Do you remember that? 
Uh. We were talking about it. We must have been talking about it sometime before the scene, and you were wondering, because she's so stoic and she's seen such, you know, um, horrible events in her life, the right. death, and right, would she right, be right, that right, connected right. to one little girl? Would she be right. that heartfelt mm. about the death of one girl as opposed to all these other people that she had right. passed through her life? And I remember that so. But you would have the strongest choices to say yes, uh, and yeah. to just to love with it. Yeah. Given to love. Given to love. <laughs> okay. It's a good scene. I'm very, really, I'm always really scene. proud of this. Mm. Grateful. You know what was weird about this later? I think it was the fifth season. They were digitizing us for the flying of the fallen angel, angels. And they were trying to digitize your face. <laughs> and they chose this scene of all scenes. I happened to see it for some reason in the makeup trailer. And it was your face saying, no, live. But it wasn't your face. It was this um, like metallic cover of a of a robot trying to talk. Oh. I found it so disconcerting oh. because it was your voice, and yet this robot saying, you know, oh. <laughs> it was just wrong. I thought, you know, <laughs> we just cannot replace human emotion and human feelings because oh, not yet. it was wrong. Pretty soon we're all out of a job. Well, I'll go back to this show. Then <laughs> we'll watch it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you leave me! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Wake up! 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 Get up, yeah, thing, it's so, so yes, sort of smooth and then. I know, it just seems so. Um, Scary. You really look I unwell. Know. Yeah. Um, Didn't you? I remember that because as I'm hitting you, I'm waiting for TJ to. Say that again? As I'm hitting you, I'm waiting for TJ to cue you to wake up. Oh. And he kept not cueing you. And this was quite some, I don't know how many takes into it this was, but it was like, I was, you're just exhausted. exhausted because it's a very long, it's a long scene and, and we kept running it in its entirety. And um, so you really do get that rush of when you wake up like, <gasps> oh, <my face." laughs> was he cueing me or was I taking my own cue? Or oh, maybe you were taking your own like cue. My own <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> when are you going to wake up? <laughs> it was... Uh, Anyway, it gives me a, gave me a big rush then, just watching it. And the music, you know, uh, The music was and beautiful. And all these um, different scenes, you know. Mm -hmm. Talking about really taking you back into time. Yeah. Robert De Niro. Oh. Name Zena. That's Zena with a capital Z. <laughs> <laughs> Did that come from? Um, when that was Josh. That was Josh. Oh, saying really? That. Yeah. That was his gag. Because that was remember, a good one. for when um, the show started, they didn't I want to I spell it with a Z. Levine. I don't remember. Probably Josh, though. Actually, if he came up with that joke, it was probably Josh. But you know, because they wanted to say to call it Zena, but. They didn't want to spell oh, with a Z because a Z is boring, Josh. so they definitely had to use an, an X. So, but no, Meg Ro got that wrong. Everybody gets it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Right. E even today, it's written as a oh, really? Z all the time, and then I know that that journalist hasn't done any homework. So. <laughs> he hasn't seen the show. Yeah. <laughs> that can be a. <laughs> they had such a good relationship. Ah! Ah! Oh. Eat some fruit, baby. Dude, this
this was definitely Josh because I remember him wanting to pull, have you pull the hair out and we were trying to place it. I can't even believe that I was mistaken this for being anybody else's episode. But, but Josh. It's totally Josh, yeah. Do you remember filming this scene? I do actually. Oh yeah, that was Because I think this was our first fight together and it, it definitely. And you have to know, I mean it was nice to feel that you could trust your colleague to do a fight without anybody getting hurt right. you know, and to pull their share of the weight and, and to not get too involved where yeah, yeah, they get into the character. Yeah, to be a, a, a real co-operator. Yeah. yeah. You can tell we're having way too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I love how Gabrielle keeps getting the best of her. But this is a really fun <laughs> relationship. But it's really, you know, sort of control. A lot of control, control on Gabrielle's part. And, yeah, finally and, she gets to control it's Meg, right? And it's just total enmity from Meg. Yeah. F mind you, Meg just, just despised Gabrielle. Yeah, yeah, Gabrielle. Yeah, jealous. Yeah, jealous. Like, really jealous. Oh, was that it? Yeah. Oh, funny. <laughs> what she say? That was an outtake, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what episode is this? Hope that I get her before Gleason. Is this a on my mother? face? No. Maternity? Maternal instincts. It's just maternity. Let's <laughs> 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 just hope that it'll stop. <laughs> Come on, okay, serious, this is it. <laughs> Let's just hope that I can <laughs> stop. I can imagine that the face you were I'm not pulling. doing anything. I'm just Come really on. enjoying your pain. Please. <laughs> you would have been, you would have been <laughs> doing one of your... Um, like um no faces like your meg faces yes you know i promise you yeah right i remember because okay. I, I remember being surprised that you were blaming me going stop come on <laughs> <laughs> it's never my fault no oh, i won't turn on that's funny because that didn't happen very often with us how fun is that happened with ted all the time oh yeah you ted and ted shopping. or me and ted but not very often with us we're so professional that's why <laughs> stop <laughs> jesus stop okay God, they're gonna print this. Oh. <laughs> they're gonna print this, and they did. Don't look at me, Lucy. <laughs> Let's just hope that I get it before Kalisto does. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I almost made it through the door. Darn, you look back. <laughs> Terrific. Now, can we head for Thessaly before you hurt yourself? No, no, no. No, wait. You see, I've worked out the mechanics. <laughs> the speed, the trajectory, <laughs> and finally the arc <laughs> of the spin. Good. Do you know where that came from? Peter Bell. Peter Bell. The stunt coordinator. Yeah, because he always had these little dolls. Little he picked up. Lego, Lego dolls. Yeah, yeah. And he would do, show you exactly how you were going to be you doing your fight. you going to do this, and you go, this boom, boom, right like that. <laughs> Somersault. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I did that. It made that that's doll cute. a tribute to him. You, that's beautiful. I went to, you went to doll making lessons. I you? did, I did that's indeed. You know, my cute. free time. Basically, I've broken it down into its relatively simple steps. Oh, yeah? What foot do I start on? Ah! Don't confuse me. This time, no staff. You pick your teeth with my doll. <laughs> and you keep it close to your heart. Absolutely. Gabrielle, before I tried the flip without the staff, I made 300 attempts with it. Slow learner, huh, Zina? <laughs> I had that problem with basket weaving. It's the right foot, but I'd rather you didn't. It's not like it's going to kill me. Let me try it one time, okay? Well, it, it That's it all might. I need. One time. You know she's doomed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know you something bad's coming. going to happen. <laughs> Is this the episode where you really did have a bad leg? No, that was the um, one against an army. That was the episode. Oh, well, that's it. That's it. This is one against an army? Yeah. Huh. And you know what happened, how, how I sprained my ankle? Oh, because that guy landed Shane, on Shane, yeah, Shane was doing a jump off a box. He was coming into frame yeah. and he landed on me. But then when he was actually doing the real stunt on a rig, coming through the ceiling, he broke his leg. Exact same move. Mm. So that, there were three. Something not to be about that. This curves.
I had to share of near death experiences. So absolutely. Teach me everything you know. Oh. You can't leave me here in Bodidia. Bodidia. I want to go with you. I've studied the stars. That's where we're trying to be, not Acidophilus. That was my job. Acidophilus. I had the gift of my time. That's right. I can be very valuable to you. That's so much to me. Oh, I want so much to be like you. I want to be like you. Mm, there you go. Um, Hugo, the boom guy, remarked to me in um, the fifth season how the same, whenever I did a tear up, the same eye would always really drop the first tear. I can't remember. Isn't it's it funny that he noticed that? that? Yeah, because he's always standing right there, you know. Right. And he and I always had a bit of a like, oh. a, like the second that they'd go cut, I'd go to Hugo, you know, <laughs> and he'd go, "How do you do that?" But uh, so it was Isn't our little funny gag. Our, our, in the family that you you know, our Zena family. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I can't remember which one, but it's always the same eye that drops the tear. That's funny. I have to look for that next time. Sad moment. Sad. It's very poignant. Mm. Very poignant. Uh oh. We didn't talk about it, but well, I don't. How did you feel much to of recap that episode? Episode? You know, I don't remember. I think because your leg was really oh. hurting, and also, and there was a huge fight, which was practically, an, you know, yeah. there was an, an entire act, so that must have been days that I wasn't around. <laughs> and your scenes were all lumped together because you were all doing right. the lying down things, and mo a lot of stuff we shot without you or with a double lying in the bed. That's right. Hmm. Because you wouldn't come to work for my offlines. You know? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I had, you like, me? I had Joe going, I've been to Podadia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's a total lie. No, it wasn't Joe. No, yeah. What? No, oh, it was you. No, you would no, always be there for offline. Oh yeah, shut up. You were. You never. You would never let somebody go without. If well, I mean, I mean, there are times when you couldn't be there, but yeah, whenever I could be there. Yeah, because I'm always there. You're always there. I'm totally kidding. I'm sure. That, anyway, I don't know. Was that a, a was great that a popular episode, Sharon? Extreme. Yeah. Really? Like, oh, was there such a lot of really? nice stuff? Yeah. yeah. There's one more scene. Oh the big God, fight. Fight. Oh, just went on forever. <laughs> it's a good one though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She goes, here Gabrielle, here's a pot of boiling oil. And I know you're half dead, but just drop it on them, would you, when, when the time comes? That's right. Oh yeah. This was the fight that made my stunt woman go off to rural New Zealand and work in an old folks home. <laughs> she decided she'd had enough of this crap. She was off. Well, I just remembered um, this was a set that everyone was just dying of heat. It was so hot. It was hot. so incredibly hot. Yeah, and a very and small set space. and with like 80 people in it. All cramped together and just, yeah, everyone really oh. maintained control, but it was it was a test. It this was sure was. Remember that, so no wonder. I had a bad God. back through this time. I remember lying down and sort of trying to create traction on my back. Is this was was. after your accident? No, I don't know if it was after my accident. I just I I think always so. kind of had a bit of a back problem. Was it after the accident? Must have been. So yeah, season two was your accident. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was certainly that lower back thing anyway. Great fight though, I'm really proud. Yeah, of incredible fight. <laughs> proud of everybody. Got that look.
don't come any closer. Go home, there are thousands more like me. <laughs> <laughs> Our, our ten stunt guys that we uh, try to make look like a hundred um, us using a narrow lens. That was always the trick. Oh, well, how, I, can, I don't know, can't believe they bought that though. The oh, I know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. kick their butt. Yeah. You and I'd his walk um, away. Yeah. Why did I never even question that? that line? <laughs> I, I probably didn't. They said, just shut up, let's just say it. Okay. You have a fish wrapped around your finger. Oh, that's a, a robism coming through. Come on, bringing in the fish. Anything to the fish, yeah. <laughs> Gabrielle, I forgot how much fun this is. Come on, give it a try. It's easy. What do you do? There are many robins. All you have to do is you, you stick your hand under the water and you feel around until you find a great big succulent fish. And then you do this. You wiggle your fingers so it looks like bait and whammo! You punch it in the face. You <laughs> punch it in the face. Um, <laughs> this is what they really do, the Cajuns. Really? Go, yeah, big big catfish down the bayous. You can reach under and tickle them and, and you tickle the pull fish? them up by their mouth. It's absolutely a true thing. So that wasn't in the script. You made that up. No, but I mean out of reality. I mean you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it, it, I don't remember that a, being in um, the script. A doable thing, and because catfish only have like plates. I think great big plates, cartilaginous plates. Huh? Did I make that word up? You did. Is that even a word? Sharon's agree. Why would I want to do that? Because it's fun. <laughs> of course. Right. Ramming my fist on the throat of an innocent little fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things we get. This is one of Renee's 500 shades of minx. Oh, Vixen. <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> no, I saw it on that um, episode where there's all the dancing Gabrielles, naked Gabrielles the oh, other right. night. And also the other one was on Oxygen, um, you know, where you and Ted are doing the disco dance. Oh, and the, and the, God, That was yeah. so great. I love that. That was a great day filming. That was um, summer at Bethel's Beach at the lake. Remember? This is someone's mm -hmm. private property, but they have this lake that's accessible to everyone, so anyone could come up and prop up their picnic and watch us film. Is this one with Ted in the nighty? Yeah. And then everyone took um, um, a swim at, at lunchtime. I think we had a picnic after That's work. Right. And I remember being horrified by everybody's naked feet. <laughs> Why? Because you see your own feet and you think they're normal and then you see other people's and you just think they're hobbits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feet are very personal things. Yeah. I looked into your eyes and seen I finally realized What's happening? There can only be one person for oh. me in my life. <laughs> this is good. Me. You're it's buying it too. <laughs> okay. That was so sweet. Yeah, little subtext for you girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I let you see me. Um it was so funny playing Gabrielle as, as being vain and this this delicate little creature because it was the antithesis of who she tries to be. <laughs> See what I mean? It's a bug. It's all overkill with Renee. Got to have the hammer. A hard it. woman, man. I know. Now, were we, what were you saying? Oh, that um, this this creature was the antithesis. Urge to smack me in the yeah, face. Yeah, <laughs> fly on your face, you know. Yeah, it was funny. It was fun playing that sort of damsel in distress because I had made a point not to to play Gabrielle like that. So it was fun to really, you know, go for it. Yeah. To be silly, and delicate. Pink, you know, and pink. I'll give you. That's enough, Minya. Minya. She said that I'll do anything for the warrior, Princess Hayes. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's a good. She's cleaning my ears. You know, her boyfriend is in love with you. That was cold water, too. Remember? I'll have to straighten that out, too. Do you remember? They kept bringing in. Uh, Right. We were in this hot tub, and Allison kept bringing in these buckets of freezing cold water, so <laughs> we lost our breath every time. Mm. She was fun. What a riot. Are you sitting on the soap? <laughs> you know what's funny about that? 
I was so embarrassed when I read that script. I went, oh my god, where did Gabrielle put the soap? <laughs> like, I can't do it. That was funny. That puts me in mind of a really good idea. Hot tub! Come on. Shiny, got all those highlights oh, showing in. Oh, 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 oh. So funny. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have to have a grown up, a grown up comb my hair for me. <laughs> what did you? Do? So who's any good at that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, both, we're both excellent at that. Yeah. Excellent, huh? <laughs> uh, make sure I know where the pause is. Oh, I see. Excuse me. This is what you can play. It was a bit too much soda. There's something under this. <laughs> yeah, I've I tried, and it just keeps doing that. Okay, we'll just go. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> you just gotta go. It was one of those moments where you just gotta go. It's giving me an idea, thing. though. What's that? Hot tub! Hot tub! All right. See you later, Zena. Um. Oh, come on. This is so lame. Let's go. It's giving me an idea, though. Hot tub! Okay, All right. then we'll go. Oh. Alright. Okay. I was so embarrassed about that. Do that embarrassed thing again. Oh. Oh. I was embarrassed though. Why were you embarrassed? I was just embarrassed because the first time I had read the script and went, oh my god. <laughs> what does she do with this? The the Ye oldie joke. Give me a Let's good idea. Take a hot tub. We've lost all our synchronicity. <laughs> it's been too okay. long. Yeah. One, oh, two. Oh, that was so cute, wasn't it? <laughs> that puts me in mind of a really good idea. Hot tub! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love that. That is so funny. What was that? That is you. That's a perfect example of you improving <laughs> by adding a toilet to the back of the set, and that's where Zena comes from. <laughs> that was perfect. And then Michael Hurst going, "Yeah, yeah, that's great." You know? I think I was sick though. I was really sick. Too, Actually, you were sick. Started. Yeah, that's right. No and um, yeah, it you came were. natural. <laughs> <laughs> What the? <laughs> I know. No, it's cool. It's cool. Oh. Do you dance anymore? I took you know, dance lessons as a kid. And um, no, I kind of gave it up because I wanted to be in the theater. And Did you teach? At that time, you couldn't do both. Aerobics? I taught Did aerobics out here in L.A., but you know, that was more physical. It, was, it had nothing to do with choreography. You know, my, my second job, I think, at 16 years old, though, was to... Um, to play a zombie in this illusion dance show for Six Flags. So I had the zombie mask on and, you know, doing all this. <laughs> but then you'd have to do all these pirouettes across the stage and then I slipped and I fell. <laughs> Slid across the stage and I decided I didn't want to dance anymore after that. Really? Oh, yeah. I wasn't a dancer and I wasn't classically trained, so it was just, you know, mm -hmm. it was fun. <laughs> you gave up opera singing. Come on. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wonder why? I gave up dancing. I could, yeah, I could be in tremendous dance. <laughs> uh, that's about how you felt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> There's the hitting. It was mutual. <laughs> Look at that set. That set was so beautiful. I just saw it at the end there, but that was all painted and it was... Oh, that's right, that desert scene. Rob and I had been to the Orientalists exhibition at the art gallery and... Um, For and the went, desert? That's what I wanted. It. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I know it happened uh, later on with Michael Hurst in the um, Husker Khan. He yeah, recreated some of the paintings. Yeah, Rob finds all this stuff yeah. that he wants to put on his shows. And anyway. Good thing. That's where that came from. Tadema. Alma Tadema. So that's what this is here. Okay. That beautiful, sort of hazy, deserty, yeah, yeah. soft right. stuff. So you guys have seen the it's great. Now give it some so great. You know, wow. That was all me. You watched Lucy just totally <laughs> fake it, winging it as ever. So was I. <laughs> No, it always cracks me up to see me dancing. Look at you laughing. <laughs> you always wonder how these are going to come off, you know? Zena and Gabriel dancing. I, I'm just not amused by it at all. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. I mean, I laugh, but not in a good way. <laughs> Ow! They got graceful, so. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Why is Zena so hepped off all the time? Well, you just probably stretched your groin. You could say that. <laughs> Excellent. Whew. All right. Glad that's over. Wow. <sighs> and then there's Bruce. That's you. <laughs> There. <laughs> that outfit was so cool. Oh my god. Poor man. Having to. What's his name? That poor man. Having to wear that hat? Johnny. I know. I'm very really sweet. Gibbons. Gibbons. Johnny Gibbons. Johnny Gibbons. He's actually a producer of television shows in New Zealand. Right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the wasp. So sorry, I sent him your way. Sorry. Okay. This goes on a little long for my taste, but I saw it just the other day, I think. Yeah? I don't think this episode is very popular. Remember? It yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was? Yeah, and it had Bruce <laughs> doing that southern stuff, remember? Yeah, he was hilarious. And that... Bruce doing that southern stuff, which was cool, and... That nice man who played the father. Oh, yeah. He had such a good quality. Yeah. And his son was good. So yeah. truthful and really loving. warm, yeah. And there was Sherry. Sherry <coughs> Appleberry. Sherry. Yeah. Who went on to Roswell. Yeah, and she's doing something else now. She's a sweetheart. She, yeah. She's sweet. We like her. Yeah. Uh, nice. Nice ending. We had some fun, didn't we? Got a big mouth on him. Okay. Well, I, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Mark's got his can of coke. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> what? Yeah, yeah, I do, because I was always embarrassed to have somebody carry me. Yeah, you were. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Talk about it. Okay, we'll pretend we're looking at it. Okay. okay. <laughs> what? It does look. I always thought that was I'm sorry too when I was watching. Well, it's because I'm such a bad dancer. I'm probably stomping all over. You were probably apologizing to everybody. Like <laughs> Truly. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um. That me being, that was me on, I think, Campbell's shoulders. I kind of remember the stunt Campbell? One, one of the stunt men was holding me yes. and, um, or Slade. Somebody big, anyway. <coughs> Slade. <laughs> and 
Slade was actually the stuntman who started out as the capoeira dancer. Um, one of those those temple episodes. He was the guy I had to go up against. He, he he was no 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 he was Callisto's friend in that tower fight. Oh, okay. Anyway, he, he started out and and he and then he became a stuntman. He really muscled up hugely. Right. Anyway, I think it was Slade's shoulders I was on. And why am I saying I'm sorry at the end? I think you're probably apologizing for your dancing. <laughs> Stomping on your feet. No, I don't know. I don't. I I mean, it, but you were yeah. I mean, I've seen that. I think I'm saying I'm sorry too, but I can't remember why. I, I think know. it was that I kept. You probably the did. Same mistake. Yeah. Or no. You don't have to be polite to these people. Uh, no, I know. I don't think that you were. St I mean, they know me. Is that what you say? No, no, no. But um, we could tell them the truth. Yeah. Oh, the oh, eels. God. Oh. I'll never forget that. Ah, oh, that's right. It's when they kept slugging you with fish. Well, this was the first time. This is where we got a taste for torturing Gabrielle with ah! fish. Remember those eels? They were so disgusting. They were the awful. They move, as because much, as like soon as they made. became nervous or um, <coughs> threatened in any way, they became exceptionally slimy. So they you had a hard slime, yeah, you had a hard time holding on to them. So we kept releasing mm -hmm. all these eels into the lake. That's right. Two years later, they wanted us to get back into the lake. Well, we know there's at least <laughs> multiple <laughs> and generations of eels. <laughs> we're like, I don't know. <laughs> Did we release the eels? Uh, but uh, oh, it was awful. You were holding the live ones, and then someone kept. It was Dave. Dave Watson kept throwing the dead ones at me. Yeah. There were twelve. Twelve. Twelve fish. And that's only the ones that made the cut. cut. Right. So yeah. There were many, many days. You like. 40 times of dead fish. I reeked. I smelled <laughs> so bad. Nobody could believe it. I couldn't believe it. You know how sometimes you can't smell yourself because you're like, I smell so bad. I mean, even oh my god. It was awful. Uh, funny. <laughs> Eels are amazing creatures, though. They can twist in all directions like a snake, you know? Like they twist that way and the insides of them twist against their. It's a really like the skeleton goes one way and the and the muscularity goes another. It's That's something more peculiar. information than I need. I don't think I ever would get around That's why they're hard to hold. And, and then I had they needed me looking joyous about catching the horrible thing. So you were not at all. You were disgusted as well. <laughs> well, it was so hard to hold, hard to hold on to them. Right. And how? Uh, that was a neat episode. Yeah. I love that episode. Yeah, me too. Boy. It was one of my favourites. Michael's a great director. Yeah. Oh God, it just gives me the creeps. Look at you! <laughs> <laughs> you know why the com these are, this one's so good is because you see a lot of the real uh, the real Xena crew. You know, yeah. the mood of the crew is really evident in, in this episode. It's probably why we love it so much. Like that yeah. look that you just did was because you kept dropping the eels and losing them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an outtake, really. Yeah. Just kept, Michael kept it in. Yeah, because Michael wanted you to pick one up, but you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> and it was horrifying. It was scary. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, it wasn't Zeta. That was funny. Yeah. Anything else? Are we missing anything? Go on. That's the same lake that you threw the rock in early in the first season. Watch and how the water ripples and churns. Yeah. <laughs> and we, uh, that we spent a lot of time in that lake. Yep. That was Lake Sturgatory. You just interrupt Sharon if you need to, because... You know, yeah. <laughs> Lost picture. Oh.
that was a funny line that came out of um that came from all the the um, publicity that was coming off the show because at the time it was doing really well and they would describe Zena with the blue eyes and the leather and eyes of steel you know I don't know I can't I'm sure it was written but um, I know that's where it came from mm -hmm. it's funny. Ah. <laughs> what was that? What'd she say? Isn't he cute? This little flower. <coughs> Attract a kinky group. That's good. That's cute. On the other hand, I can see 